So your question was how to use long division to divide this binomial into this polynomial. So to do that, we take a look at the first term here and the first term here to start. Once we have that, we're going to say 3x. How many times, how can we get that to equal 6x cubed? So 3 to get to a 6, we multiply by 2. So we'll go ahead and write a 2 up here. And then x to get to x cubed, you multiply by x squared. So that would get us 6x cubed right here, and we're subtracting. And then we also have to multiply the 2 by 2x squared to get negative 4x squared. So this negative goes to both terms, which really makes this a positive. So 6x cubed minus 6x cubed. When we do that, we just get 0. 11x squared plus 4x squared. Um, that becomes 15x squared. And just like normal division, we're going to drop this 19x down. Have 19x come here. And we're going to move on to our next term. We now have a 15x squared term that we have to figure out how many times 3x goes into it. Same as the last time, we are going to add, because it's positive 5 to get from 3 to 15. So we will add 5, and to get from x to x squared, we just need one more x. So there we have 15x squared with the first term. Sorry about the messiness, but and then on the other term, we have 5x times negative 2. As we're subtracting, we'll get negative 10 x, and this time when this negative goes to both terms, this becomes a positive, just like last time actually. And then we go negative 19x plus 10x, let's track that, this one zeroes out of course, and then this we are left with negative 9x plus 6, and we end up having a very nice problem where if we multiply this by negative 3 to get this 3 to be the 9, that's all we need to do. We get negative 9x plus 6, which matches up perfectly to completely cancel out when we subtract it. So that cancels, that cancels, we get 0 down here, and our final answer is 2x squared plus 5x minus 3. We can box that up, turn that in, and we're done.